Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I'm playing some Call of Cthulhu. It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I convinced her to let me come over here. Does she have a tear? Is that just a textured glitch on her left shoulder? I'm just gonna be staring at that for this entire walk. I'm not staring at her ass. I'm staring at the weird. No, could you stop moving for a second? I I want to see if that's a cut, or if that's just some texture fuckery. I think. I think it's just a texture glitch. Damn it, woman, stop moving. I'm just trying to see if there's a texture glitch on your shoulder because it's bugging me. I'm bugged by the weirdest things in video. I did not click that. I did not click that. I did not bring out that lighter. I did not click that button. That's how it's done. Thank you. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. <laughs> Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Rude. But I want to see if there's a texture glitch on your shoulder! <laughs> oh, this place stinks. Gross. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins? You have case? nothing to say about the bloody bandages, like, at all. To enter a reconstruction scene, hold both buttons. Okay. These painkillers were prescribed three months ago. Okay. Someone has been taking them since the time of the Hawkins' death. It smells as bad as it looks. Yeah, is gross. There's more medicine. Can't sleep. I know Sleeping how that pills. feels. Le petit Parisian. Paris. Might keep a news the small Sarah Hawkins. Parisian person. Small Frenchman. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? It's creepy. The fuck is the fuck? The fuck? No, I'm busy. What happened here? Whoa. Okay, mirror was punched. Can I pull out my lighter? No. Tits. Okay, I think that's everything. No, wait, ha! What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? I'll leave the reconstruction scene whenever I want! That's creepy. New clue memorized. The warehouse. Can I take the lantern? Why is the fire green? That's creepy. I mean, it's very Cthulian. But also not really how fire works. I mean, you can't- there are certain substances that make fires glow green. But... I doubt that's what the candles are made of. Oh, this is gonna end poorly. Well, someone has settled in here. <gasps> Shit. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. For fuck's sake! Hi. You! Don't move! Detective Pierce. Hi. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. I was given permission. Wound up? You mean messed up? Huh. No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of you. Oh, shut we up. We do our job carefully and fairly. Obviously not. No stone was left unturned. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait. I know it. Hmm. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. Hmm. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. But you're thorough. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? Hmm? I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. So would Come I. Come on. <laughs> the away. Don't and threaten the cops. It's a bad idea. Off. Your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. <laughs> God damn it. Her again. Oh crap. Hi, cat. She's gonna take the favor right now, isn't she? This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. <laughs> too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Wow. Now you 
He's not Come on, fat. keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. I like her. <laughs> Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. What did I do? Is Wait, what? This mansion. How did I piss her off? <laughs> Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. I didn't do anything. You see the building? Yeah. That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some driving. I thought it burned down. <laughs> really not that badly. More achievements. <laughs> I guess I pissed off Cat by not threatening the police officer. I don't know. For, from the way that was situated, I thought I was either going... Cat was going to ask for the favor and ask me to get rid of the cop, or it was going to be like some decision between which one of them was going to take me to the mansion. That sort of thing. I do know this game has multiple endings. I'm specifically not looking up how to get them. So we'll see which one I get. I know there's four of them and then that's it. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with this cheek? <laughs> Got some Joker shit going on. Oh wait, did Cat already give him a smile? Do I know how I got these scars? That's sketchy. Why do I feel well, like Officer Bradley's Hawkins gonna get match. killed? <laughs> I feel like Officer Bradley's gonna get killed. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Oh, that was probably the guy who was looking at me. Um... You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. <laughs> That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Okay, Anything this else? guy's legit. I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Looks like a cultist house. Yeah, it's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. It's nothing to do with your case anyhow. But I'm searching let's for a dead person. There. Unless you still have questions. Your partner Andrews warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? <laughs> I'll end up asking you for advice. It's because I'm awesome. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was... Slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. Okay. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. What is that Anything supposed to mean? To me? Or do you want to go up there? Uh, is it the mansion burning fire? I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the door. Spot hidden. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we going to take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? So many questions. Uh, done that one. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Bullshit! Could he <laughs> this is a horror game, dude. <laughs> Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. Great. A true force of nature. Probably have to fight him. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, 
if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? <laughs> I still feel like this guy's gonna die. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. This is gonna end poorly. He's right. gonna get killed. Let's go. Granted, he could also get killed if he got left behind here. Because, you know, being alone in a horror game never ends well. And it looks like a graveyard. Where we go? Whoa, where'd it go? Oh, wait, what? We're going to the grave? I did not turn that on. I did not hit my middle mouse button. Why, why aren't we going that way? Okay. What's that? What's this? Oh, hell no. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I know, so they broke a bunch I of told stuff. You, Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. Mm. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Uh, someone just created a grave. Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Unless he did it. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Well, his daughter Let's did die. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? Mm. I don't see Silas doing such. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. They don't look very fresh. <laughs> the caretaker takes great care of these graves. Except for the Charles one. And this one's for the kid. Poor kid. Poor kid. Wait. Poor kid. <laughs> Poor, Poor kid. kid. Okay. I'm done. Are you done here? Okay, we're leaving. Uh. Dude? You got a place to be? You're just gonna chill? Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. Okay, bye! You're probably gonna get stabbed! Because this is a horror game. And you're not me. I thought he was coming with me, apparently not. Aw, oh, game saved. Every time I get a game save, I'm like, mmm, this is gonna end badly. I'll have to find another entrance. Okay. This way, then. Still gotta meet this Silas guy. This entrance is still in use. Eh. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave the other guy? Cool. Whoa. Rude! Whoa. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Uh, 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 grab the axe! Like, grab the fucking axe hand! You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. And let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. Oh, it's, it's time. Cool. That's what that clock ticking thing no is. More okay. Violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. 
The police report describes <laughs> Yay, a domestic he's accident. He's to stab me. <laughs> but Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. <laughs> he wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. Oh, please. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. So I need to convince him. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Really, dude? Vermin. Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not <laughs> sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Uh, right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Hold up, actually. I think I have... Oh, I have two points. I thought I only had one. Um, that needs five, five. I'm gonna keep going for more investigation and a little bit more eloquence. Yeah. Hi. I still don't want to take a cult because of what I know about Cthulhu Meatbots. It's probably gonna stab me in the ass later, but... I do know, at least in the tabletop version, getting Cthulhu Mythos or Occult is generally not a good thing. I mean, it can be a good thing, but it also caps your sanity. Yes. The fuck you doing here? Shall we, Anna? You are the worst. You could have helped me out with him. All right, I have to hold the button. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Are you, though? Are you? <laughs> Didn't you say you were going to help me with the old man? You have failed. I am ashamed of you. Okay. I could do without the loading times, but other than that, the game so far is pretty good, though I haven't had any combat or stealth sections yet. Which you don't necessarily need in a game. I'm all for having detective-y, investigative-y games, but I do know that you can shoot. Because that was an option in the um, menu. And I assume there's combat because you can grab axes and stuff. But Follow me. Enter madness. I know the place. If I'm not answering madness, I'm entering a mansion. Who left this light on? I don't know. Wait, what? Did I just get two points? Oh, yeah, I did. Cool. Boink, boink. Oh, whoops. Yes. Excellent. Eh, I didn't do it. The Am last supper of the Hawkins. Gross! Ew, what rat! What does this tell me? You are literally terrible at this, Silas. <laughs> you're not taking care of the place. And you're letting rats be gross. Let's see here. What do we have here? Oh, we got some, uh, meatloaf? What kind of meat is this? Gross. Gross meat. Obviously. There doesn't seem to be anything else in here. It was broken. No, that's it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that looks like that's it. Okay. Oh, it actually won't let me leave this. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, um, uh, <laughs> I'm holding it. Shouldn't I be able to exit this? Oh, I missed one. This place is for the head of the family. Charles Hawkins. And he must have been angry. Oh. Okay, I just wasn't looking in the right angle. Probably here. 
smashed his plate on the floor. Okay, and the wife is here. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Because fight with daddy. Something happened at this table. An argument? Something like that. So you can only leave the reconstruction scene when it tells you. Daydreaming again. Working, officer. <laughs> This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. We have as long as I want. I am the protagonist here, and my goods are not you. I'm still probably pretty sure he's gonna die at some point. I'll go here. Was Charles Hawkins ha! some kind of explorer? In front of the pyramids of Giza. Easy, too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. But it was already too late Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. Heh. <laughs> Cause I'm better at it than they are. I'm better at being a detective than the cops. Was Charles Who's... Hawkins a heavy drinker? The child's uh -oh. corpse left a trace. Okay, so that's where the child's corpse was. Where are the others? Is it dad drinking? They had a fight. Why? And Did it stop get... at the time of the fire? So that must be what started the fire, probably? Did Sarah shoe? Hawkins lose one of her shoes? Obviously. Huh. When she fell. <laughs> Smartass. Is there anything else? No? Aha! Did someone escape the fire? Hmm. Interesting. I think that's everything. Yes? Or not? Because it's not letting me exit it. Yeah, it's not letting me exit. There we go, that's what I'm missing. If the painting, the painting. The docks really came from here. Why wasn't it burned? How come it didn't ah, burn? There you go. No, no, I said leave it. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. <laughs> Where's the cop? <laughs> This was a fight. Uh-oh. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. While he was set on fire. <laughs> Where's the cop? <laughs> Oh, it's a toy. So, detective, what do you make of it? There he is. <laughs> Police botched the um, investigation. Just didn't match. The fire wasn't just an accident. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? Mm -hmm. There's only one way to be sure. Dun, dun, dun. Good thing that the house isn't condemned or anything. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. I'm sure this is fine. <laughs> this door is locked. This is fine. Hey! History of medicine in the 18th century! That <laughs> took me a minute. Let's go for there. And 
Anything else? Nope. Poor thing. But he bandages. bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? Dun Again, why are all the fires green? The lyrics of the drunken sailor. A sea, sea shanty. shanty. No, oh, can't go that way. <laughs> Mother An original way. edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Nice house, nerd. The fuck was with that music just now? Excuse. Okay, books. Hmm. Moby Dick! Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. <laughs> this piano is in disrepair. Probably because nobody's Looks like the here. Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Oh, you can only use the light for so long, can you? Okay, or it gets too hot. That makes sense. Oh, gimme. Human body, comparative analysis. Yay, medicine. I read books uncommonly quickly. Hello. I want more book. Ah! Dark water history. This place was settled back in 1692. A book on hunting whales. The island's staple diet last century. I've never had whale before. That's crazy. One of Sarah Hawkins paintings. <laughs> Her style sure is recognizable. Mm. This is creepy. Twenty thousand leagues under, under the, the sea. sea. I've never read that one. Story about the mysteries of the deep. Door. Oh no, can't do it. Okay. I could go over here, I guess. Oh, this is just the upstairs. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what thing. did Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Dear sir, as you know, I have always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of a wife. Last week, she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of Dr. Fuller. He alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses. If these disturbances were to recur, please um, believe me. Although it would feel like torture, I must be obliged to involve the police. Hmm. Interesting. Anything else? Locked. 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 Oh, never mind. No, it's not. What's the kids' room? This is creepy. The boys room. This is creepy. It's kids room, therefore creepy. What? I have to hold it until it tells me otherwise. Cool. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? I just liked to make forts when I was a kid. It didn't really have anything to do with that. Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Okay. Medicine. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. Why? <laughs> what was wrong with this family? Why were you giving sleeping pills to a child? It's a bad idea. What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Uh -huh. Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something yep. terrifying. Probably Cthulhu. Or maybe a Shoggoth. Probably a Shoggoth. I'm gonna go with a Shoggoth. When in doubt, it's probably a Shoggoth. Ooh, key. What will her room reveal about her? A 
That's probably the key to her office. Um, uh... Barbiturates. Um. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Our bitch. Ooh. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's some spicy drugs. Oh, those are some spicy drugs right there. You don't want to screw with barbiturates. Uh, oh, yeah, I think. Mm. Some sketches. Gallery of Horrors. Ugh, creepy. Oh, great, I got a cultism progress. Wonderful. A barbiturate prescription from a certain Dr. Fuller. I'm a, I'm a barbital sodium to be taken every four to six hours. Jesus. Do not Such consume alcohol. Dose. Either this man is a charlatan or Sarah's condition is unlike anything I've ever seen. <laughs> hey -o. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So this is a- What the fuck?! <laughs> Way too long to realize there's a massive freaking occult symbol covered in what's probably Raelian. Raelian or whatever. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. Uh oh. Thank you to send me some new paintings. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Damn! If you think it's like 1920s-ish time period, this is a lot of money for these paintings. Wait, why was one of them returned? It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Reasons. Despite what happened, they seem Friends to have loved each forever, other. Forever, it will bind us. Okay. That's still creepy, though. Are you just not- Okay, he's gonna talk about it. <laughs> was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? Was he interested in the occult? No shit! Wait a minute. Why are there scratch marks? Bradley? Is that you? Bradley. No, he's not here. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? He's just chilling. Well, not much, to be honest. Okay. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. This is a big ass house. If you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Okay, yeah, he's just gonna stick down here. Cool. Wait a minute. How did that door open? <laughs> mm, we got some haunting shit. Wait, why did I even need that key? Didn't really seem like it was important. It's been triple check. I'm not missing anything. Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, oh dear. It's gonna be a Shoggoth. I- I'm putting my money on Shoggoth! <laughs> Is anyone there? Probably a Shoggoth. <laughs> it's usually a Shoggoth. Shoggoth is a type of Cthulian creature. Who's been lighting all of these lights, pray tell? Right. That's a creepy painting. Pretty par for the course for this later, though. What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> she painted my dude. No. What, you have nothing to say about- Oh, shit, hi, how you doing? Fucking chase! You! Bradley, get him! Bradley, get him! God, you're fucking slow. Bradley. Ready to go. See which way he went. Who? 
I didn't see God, anyone. you're the worst. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? There was a cultist. A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. Cultist. I'll cover you. Being a cultist. Cultist. This door was closed earlier. Being a cultist. Where did he go? He's a cultist. Being it a cultist. Like <laughs> probably worships Cthulhu and only speaks Raelian. And probably is from Raleigh. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is in the photograph. Seems like this came from a log. Okay. There must you be a really link with the sea wing came in here? I don't see any Oh, out. I can switch. Wait, why would I switch? As if the bookcase has been moved several times. Okay. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Okay. I'll come back to that. <laughs> Doesn't work. I must have missed something. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder why. Uh, man, I can't fucking read that. The <laughs> it's the boat that was stranded at the entrance to the harbor. This panel is movable. <gasps> oh shit. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. Okay. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. I'd yeah. be better off not touching them for the moment. Yeah. Okay. Why would I need... Why would I need both types of light? Oh, maybe the lighter one is... This one's infinite, probably. Oh, that's how you. Okay, I can use that to refill oil. Got it. Oh shit, I've gone way over time. <laughs> just gonna quickly just be like, and boom, and boom. Wait, what? Oh, tits. Oh, <laughs> well, we got more investigation at least. Once I have those up to four, I'll start getting the spot hidden up to four. Chief Man Unlocked, Detective Edward Pierce. So that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Call of Cthulhu. I'll see you all in the next video.